Hey there everybody, Hitesh here back again with another video. Now this is not an ordinary video that where we talk about advices, programming and stuff. This is about solving some issues. So let me first of all clear up, this video is not for everybody. Yep, that's true. It's not for everybody. Uh, let's define our audience. Who am I looking for in this particular video? Uh, so let me tell you, I was running an Android app. Uh, basically, it was a React Native app and I was trying to run it on the Android simulator and I faced a couple of issues, a couple of, a couple of bugs. And uh, you might be facing some of the issues in running your React Native app on the Android and that is probably you are here and we are going to solve that issue. So if you are associated with React Native Learning, uh, running Android simulate apps on the Android simulator, then only this video is for you. Otherwise, hey, catch you up in other videos. This is not for you. Okay, so let me tell you exactly what happened and how, how I solved my issues and what were the issues. So uh, let me open up my terminals where they are. Uh, uh, there we go. So this is some of the terminals that I have and basically you just generate a uh, a react native app so this is how you do it uh, let me just clear up the console so that you can see uh, this is react native in it youtube uh, just a demo app that i created and uh, when you run this app uh, using a react native run ios it it just magically runs uh, or maybe I, I work quite a lot on iOS, so everything was properly set up there. Perhaps, perhaps I'm not. I'm not judging there. Uh, so that is why it ran really smoothly on my iOS app. But when I tried to run it on the Android, it gave me a few issues. And uh, how I solved them? Let's discuss them now. Very first time when you will run that, it will install a lot of Gradle scripts on your system. And by the way, the Gradle scripts are to support your Android apps. Uh, to run quickly and effectively on your simulators okay we may talk about gradle scripts later on so let it do be patient there it's going to install a lot of things with the dot 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 there and the, it just does the stuff so uh the first thing is let it do that and uh, a few things that you might have skipped from the documentation uh, let's just go back and inst uh, uh, watch out for them so uh, I expect that you might already have installed the uh, JDK. Uh, even on a Mac, you need a JDK, although now Android Simulator says or Android Studio says that, hey, you don't need JDK, which is uh, installed prepackaged with that. But still, you're going to need that. React Native does require that. So as it says, Android Studio requires a recent version, uh, although Android Studio may want to skip that, but you want to install the JDK there, okay? Uh, the next thing is uh, install Android simulator and everything that is good. Uh, but let me show you a couple of things that you might be missing. OK, uh, open up any app or maybe an app which is being generated by React Native. And then after go to the tools and click on the Android and SDK manager. And uh, now in the SDK manager, make sure you check mark on this show package detail. And one thing for which React Native was yelling at me is uh, I didn't have the 23rd version of API. That means Android Marshmallow. Uh, of course, you can just scale up your apps to the latest uh, Nougat or whatever the latest O is there. Uh, but again, uh, you need to have this guy installed there. It, it makes a lot of issues there. So this is number one thing that you might want to do is install this. OK, uh, I'm going to hit cancel there. And thereafter, we need a uh, AVD manager as well. In the AVD manager, uh, you might be looking up for the Android latest API, which is uh, Android uh, 25 API. Uh, but somehow, again, you have to create another device with 23 as well, API level 23. Uh, I happen to choose Nexus 5. You can choose any other phone. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but for the first time of the running, you need this guy. OK, that is step number one. Now open up your Android app in your na uh, React Native project. For example, in my case, uh, it's the YouTube. So where is it? There we go. So it's a YouTube app. And in that, you have got Android and iOS folders. Uh, make sure you open up the Android, not just the YouTube, not just your base project folder. Go inside this Android. And there you will see a lot of properties and everything in here. Now, one thing that might bug you off quite sometimes is this locale.properties file. Sometimes, now this is sometimes, this React Native initialization of the project doesn't generate this locale.properties file. So you might want to create a new file that says a local.properties and what is inside this file is pretty easy. Let me open that up. Okay, come on, hey, why are not? Going. Okay, this is what it does. You don't need this, all the things, uh, because uh, 
uh, you don't need it actually. You, you just have to have a thing here that says sdk.dir equals slash users slash whatever your computer name is. My name is happened to be studio and then slash library slash Android slash SDK. Now in most of the cases, this file is automatically being generated, but in some of the project, I have seen that this file is not being generated. Uh, so you want that file. Okay, A-okay. And this is uh, the problem. Majority of the times you might be facing this problem or maybe the API level is not installed on your system 23. Okay, that is another. Let's go back to this guy. And they are also saying that, hey, you need a 23 level API to be installed there. And of course, uh, sometimes you might want to export the paths. I didn't need it to do that. Uh, maybe for some reasons, but I didn't need it that to do that. And after that, there is again an issue there. Uh, just like uh, in the uh, in the iOS, uh, you just run the command react native run iOS automatically a simulator is being triggered and your uh, app just get placed there and you can just run that. It doesn't happen in the Android. So what you want is run the simulator, okay? Uh, once you run the simulator, then only the file would get installed on it. But again, uh, it's not going to say you that I have done this and will not automatically open the file. So you have to go into this guy and you have to look out for the YouTube and then you can proceed to work out. Also a small caveat there uh, that uh, in the end, in the iOS simulator, you just uh, press command R to reload your app. But in here, you have to press R two times. It's by the way, written in here as well. Uh, so these are few issues that you might run into it. And I think uh, this is going to solve everything. On to a quick revision. Uh, make sure that your JDK is installed. After that, make sure Android Studio is also installed on your Mac. And on top of that, uh, the first thing that you might be looking up is the file locale.properties should be there in your Android folder. After that, make sure you have got API level 23 being installed there. It is required and a, and a device should be there with the, uh, with the API 23. And after that, you need your simulator to be up and running. And then you might want to run the command uh, react native uh, space uh, run Android. And that's a few issues. I think a lot of you will be helpful uh, by solving these issues uh, when running your app. And I, I assume uh, that you might also be involved quite a lot in the iOS app. And that is why a few of these issues are pretty common. Okay, so I think this video was helpful for few people who are facing some issues in react native Android. And if you think that this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll surely catch you up in the next video.